Yeah, that's right. Robin Akiva New Podcast, episode number 218. And Robin and Akiva are unhinged, and I feel so seen because uh, we are ready to get unhinged and unhinged as uh, we are going to be punching up some dating profiles, getting more couples together, getting into the more elite tiers of heaven, not the general admission heaven, with this guy, Uncle Kiwi, Akiva Winokur. How's it going, Rob? Yeah, I think it's, we're a lock for Gen Pop Heaven at this point. We're trying to make it to like yeah, we call it general admission. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to we're trying to like hang out with Nelson Mandela or whoever. Why not? If it's no tears, we could just uh hang out with anybody we want there because there's mm-hmm. no velvet rope in general admission heaven. All right. That's one of the selling points. It's like, hey, be good because there's no velvet rope in general admission heaven. Mm-hmm. You just have to do one. Do you ever think about right this when you're a kid? Look, it do one more good deed than than, than whatever like, the equation is. It doesn't matter what the score is. That as long as it's like Jeopardy, as long as you're mm-hmm. above above uh, you know zero, you get to play in Final Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy is like a general admission. Uh, well, of, yeah. Well, I was gonna say I I, I thought you were going somewhere else because technically. It's very unlike Jeopardy in the sense that, like, Jeopardy could win and get nothing almost, right? Mm-hmm. You win Jeopardy yeah. with, like, 200 But you get to be there. Final Jeopardy is heaven. And basically, as long mm. as you have $1, you get in. Now, technically, you could be, like, autom- you could automatically lose when you get to Final Jeopardy. If someone has you more than doubled, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if, like, uh, somebody is basically, like, if you're so good, like, what your final wager would be. But, you look, it's general admission. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, the analogy doesn't only go so far. Akiva, mm-hmm. how are you doing this week? Much better. I, I don't, I, I'll be honest, like, last week. Okay. Please. I, like, barely knew I, where I was by the end of the episode. You know, I was like, mm-hmm. I couldn't, I physically couldn't take notes during the game. I really, we ended up, I I didn't test, um, but everyone no. else on my team at work had COVID. So I assume it was COVID. I sort of thought it was strep throat. My kids mm. had it, but I was, uh, I was pretty loopy by the, even when we spoke afterwards, I would, could like barely speak. Um, so I'm much, m- much better this week. I don't remember much of last week. And I, mm-hmm. I know people were ragging on me for not oh. being able to remember any of the, if I told anything. you what happened last week, you wouldn't even believe me. <laughs> But um, yeah, but I'm excited to be. I'm excited. OK. All right. Eight percent. Ninety eight percent of Uncle Kiwi. All right. So we have got uh, a, a great panel of guests here with us today. A- Akiva, do you want to uh, just uh, talk us through what exactly we're going to do? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this episode has been on and off the wheel for, I think, over a year at this point. Mm-hmm. I think it acts. I think it fell off accidentally. I think some. It literally got deleted from from the mm-hmm. wheel um, at some point. I don't know when or why. And then, yeah, luckily, Will from America said, "Hey, whatever happened to Robin Kiva on Hinge?" But basically, we are going we rebooted to, it. Yes, we are going to, with the help of a dating expert, who we'll introduce in one second, um, try and help two of our listeners who volunteered to find love uh, via the app Hinge. Um, and uh, we will, you know, go over their profile. We'll talk about maybe go over some fun prompt questions. Help them give some answers, and then at some point in the near future, they will come back on. Uh, hopefully, if we don't scare them away today, and um, they will, uh, we will, we will discuss the results. We'll see if this, if this boosted their game, if this helped them. Okay. All right. Well, let's um, get things started by bringing in our our day. Our uh, what, what what is the area of expertise? Would you say Akiva? I, um, I, I, Punch, punching up profile expert punching up profiles uh let's, a, uh, let's long... ask her let's welcome in <laughs> yes uh this is what a treat to have mm. her here today the great rourke luskin is here rourke how are you rob it's been forever i, I haven't know, seen your I new know. setup i i i know this i'm is so crazy. excited I'm, I'm so excited to have you here of course rourke has like one of the great podcasting voices uh mm-hmm. that you could hope to have on a podcast so uh rourke you elevate any podcast that you are a part of thank you i appreciate that i've i've, I've spoken to keeve more recently we did an ngog mm-hmm. episode yes, yes. how and was that when... it was great i thought yes. it was very fun um 
And and uh, when when this came up, I, I asked uh, my friend Ali Lasher, I said, who would be the ideal sort of expert for this? And she said, well, Rourke, we just had her on. She had a longtime dating podcast. I think it was called Finding Mr. Height. Yes. Uh, good name. And uh, and and she'd be perfect. And and when Ali speaks, I listen. You know that, Rob. So here's yeah. Rourke. OK. All right. So. Rourke, are you uh, excited to work on helping some of the Renap listeners uh, getting their profiles punched up? I'm really excited. I, I would like to know who it's – okay, so this has been in the works for a year. I, I hear that part mm -hmm. of it. Who asked you two to do this? How long has it been since you've been single? Have either of you even online dated? No. We don't okay. know a lot of the things we talk about. I have and we're Rourke, constantly reminded of that. I, I got to be honest. I, I feel like I missed out because I feel like I would be better at online dating mm -hmm. than real dating. I, like, I think I like that there was uh, maybe you're, you could tell me I'm wrong. Like, actually, no, uh, I've, uh, you know, I've met you. You're, you know, uh, you know, five foot ten. Uh, it's not, you know, it's it doesn't matter what you do. But that being said, like, I do feel like that. I kind of feel like, uh, all right, like um, in terms, especially in terms of like, you know, when not everything was so photo based, like, I think I would have had a, a shot here. I think, no, first of all, even with photos, I think, I think you do great. I think that people even who with photos. Are, yes. hundred wow. um, percent. There's, there's a lid for every pot. And then I also think, I do think online dating really favors people who on the spectrum of like funny to not funny, mm -hmm. at least are 51% witty. I, I think that helps right. so much. But, and so, yeah, no, I think, I think both of you guys. Yeah. Would have because back that. in so the day, you know, uh, I'm going to a bar and mm. I'm just like trying, I'm like sh trying to shout over music. I can't dance. Uh, like it's like not great odds. Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, I think if you were good at Survivor to meet uh, any women, how'd that go? I mean, depends on the day. Two children, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, so, if you were, you, is your position, Rourke, that if you were good at like aim back in the day, you'd be good at online dating, basically? If you could handle the back and forth banter. I mean, I will say, I, I think, I think if you like are a decent writer you can mm. be pretty good at online dating. For example, like in LA, an experience I've had many times is people who are writers who then in person are like, oh, you actually can't speak. You can write very well, mm. but you cannot actually then have the conversation in person. Mm -hmm. Like that's well, who you presented yourself over text did not hold up. Right. Now this could be fascinating because our first guest, and I'm not a great writer, but, what, but our first guest is famous for their excel skills yes and i wonder if it's like i wonder if there's like a math brain versus like a good at writing brain there's a difference okay well, all right well let's bring in our guest excel shannon is here excel shannon how are you so good yeah i'm, I'm not terrible at writing i don't think i always like did well in school i don't yeah. know mm -hmm. probably doesn't translate exactly but yeah wasn't yeah. really mine and you write formulas a lot in excel there's lots of formulas i have to actually write too much for work for what I mm -hmm. do. Okay. All right. Well, Excel Shannon, you are in good hands here today because we have the expertise of Rourke and you have Robin Akiva, two guys with zero divorces so far. It's, honestly, that's, a, that's you know, I never thought about us like that, but mm -hmm. we've been it combined. We've been in relationships for, for almost 40 years. Two guys, no seven yeah. kids, zero divorces. I right. uh, wow. can't argue with those numbers, right? Nope. Even nope. in Excel. Yeah. <laughs> Rourke, can you tell us uh, how much has uh, Chat GPT changed the dating profile game? <laughs> you know what? That's a that's a funny question. I have not really. I've I've listened to podcasts about Chat GPT and now Auto GPT, obviously, but I have not pl really played around with it myself. And I think that it is a. I think that it would be a mistake. To use it because something that I I want to talk about with um, Shannon and our next guest is that like I actually think you do not want to create a it is a antithetical to what you're trying to accomplish to have a profile that appeals to everybody and so trying to get something like trying to write a super popular profile or something that would work mm -hmm. really well broadly is not going to get you what you want. 
Rourke, you mentioned auto GPT. Uh, what is auto GPT? Oh, auto GPT now is a GPT that like, it's an AI that connects all the other GPTs. And so they can train each other. Got it. Yeah. It's okay. really cool. Yeah. Got to get into that. Okay. You know, Rob, all there right. was a, a very recent South Park episode where um, Tolkien uh, uh, starts uh uh like basically uses chat gpt jrr to... tolkien no their friend in class like the like the the tolkien? south park lads start um start uh you know using chat gpt to speak to their girlfriends and it really winning them over mm. oh okay so this is very topical okay mm -hmm. was this episode also written by chat gpt Yes, that was the episode that was written and was by it good was it better than most of the south park episodes yes yes it was it was pretty funny it was pretty okay. funny all right Sounds good. All right, Shannon. So can you give us like the backstory of like what what led you to want to be on a podcast with two middle aged men to talk about your dating profile? Huh? It's a great question. Um, I don't really know. It's just I've had it for a while. And then this came up and it was talked about, about who would be on this. And I was like, well, I can do this. Mm -hmm. I have one. I haven't done done much. Do, haven't, you know? Yeah. Okay, and you didn't because you didn't even know Rourke was going to be here, right? I I was not sure yesterday what was happening. To be yeah. honest, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that's how we operate on this podcast. You know? mm -hmm. Okay, so, so right. everything's this a surprise. Is a, a big score for you, a big win because I mean you could have just been like just be me and Akiva trying mm -hmm. to you know you know punch up. We uh, had some your people. It mostly skewed male who just wanted us to bully them. Basically, Rourke, we people it was mm -hmm. like I'm going to send you my profile and roast me. And we do have we do have one of those if uh, if we're interested later. Okay. But um, okay. The, you know, right. I I don't think Shannon wants to be roasted. I think she wants to be helped. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Rourke, can you tell us what's the best way to move forward now? Um, I mean, we could talk about like general principles, or we can do that in the context of just start looking at her yeah. hinge. Shannon, yeah, is there an area that that you feel like you are in the most need of help, or you want to just show Rourke what's going on? Let's well, open up my, the hood on this thing. I think my prompts could be used updated. I feel like I made this like a year ago. I haven't really done anything since with it, like updating anything. So those could be updated. I think one of one of my problems is I live in a very unpopulated area of the country. So there's not mm -hmm. not a ton of options, I would say. Rourke, should mm -hmm. she move? Yeah. So, okay, honestly, maybe. Like you're, you're not on the that... private island still, Shannon, are you? Is private that private island work? And that better come up in these prompts. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Wait, what? Her family owns a private island. They do. Small <laughs> island. It is. It's a small island. Well, long own. Island. Have you heard of it? No, that's a Long <laughs> Island. It's not yeah. small. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Um, here, let's go ahead and I can present the um because so uh, we're on we're on a video call, uh, but I will, you know, describe uh, what we're seeing when necessary here. Uh, but let me go ahead and uh, share my screen so you can take a look at uh, what we have here as Shannon is so kind to share what her phone uh, with us here on the panel. Uh, and so we are seeing a screen share of her phone. Okay. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. And we see first here, her first prompt here on, on this is hinge says this year, I want to buy my first home. If only the market wasn't so outrageous right now. And an emoji that I've never seen before, uh, the house, house with a tree emoji. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, do you want to start there? I, I mean, do you get multiple hinge prompts or is this you have a main one? There's I think three. can we go thing by thing or actually let sure. me look at the whole thing and then let's let's literally just go scroll down it and okay. go element by element. Uh, do we want to get into OK, so the, that the the facts here, uh, the back of the baseball card says uh, 26 years old, five foot four, um, a Don't location. Okay, actuarial analyst uh, from the Ohio State University. Mm -hmm. Do you get Michigan people trolling you, Shannon, or no? No, okay. hasn't happened. Okay. I'm a little far away from Michigan, so they probably... Uh, Catholic, mm -hmm. searching for a long-term relationship. Can, Shannon, can you scroll so I can see the rest of yeah. the... Um, yeah, thank you. Okay. okay. Don't have children, okay? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. With drinks sometimes, don't okay. smoke. 
Mm-hmm. Is that a is that a, a a pot leaf? It is emoji. Yeah, so okay. No smoking. Ah, so no smoking. No so drugs. Cigarettes, marijuana, and drugs. And does okay. that mean that you don't wow. do it, or you're not looking oh, for someone? People who does it? people post online that they do drugs. Like uh, this is look. <laughs> it's it's the nineties. Narcs Rob. are it's out there, time. everybody. Don't fall. Don't do this. Yeah, I think it's wild. Yeah, the different time, Rob. We're old men. Yeah. Look, uh, th- th- look. I don't know. They're, they're, they're everybody. They're watching. Don't. Don't, don't, uh, yeah. Now, but does that mean um, I don't I do, do drugs? Is there an option like no emoji winking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. I'd like All it right. broken down by drugs more. Like there's pills. There's no cocaine thing. Well, you could like you could not show that. So then it kind of like implies that you kind of do. Like if you ah, don't show okay. that you don't do drugs, then it's like, well. Mm-hmm. What if I say I don't do drugs, but then my one of my pictures is me doing drugs? <laughs> Well, I've seen that before where somebody will say no cigarettes and one of their things, one of their mm-hmm. photos is of them smoking. And I'm like, yeah, well, maybe they are allowed to smoke. They just don't want a smoker yeah. themselves. What, you know, what, what if I'm like do, doing drugs, but I'm wearing a T-shirt? That these are fake drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and I can say that this is like my, I don't do this photo is in a taken in a, in a humorous vein. My I don't do heroin T-shirt, <laughs> raising a lot of questions that have already been answered by the shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let me oh put God. that on the list of uh, shirt. I don't do drugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. The, now, is this drugs. your dog, Shannon, drugs. in the in the picture? Um, it's like my family okay. dog. Okay, so that's Shannon, that's a very cute. Yeah, dog. Shannon is like wearing a matching yeah. outfit with her dog. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got that from TikTok. Okay. Uh, there you go. So, okay, must love dogs. Okay. Then uh, uh, is this is uh, a family photo? These this are my brothers. This feels like your brothers. They yeah, are it my does. Brothers. Fe- I don't it's know why, because I don't know your brothers. But if you see this yeah. picture, it's like these people are related. Yeah. Okay. Are, you know, is this on the island, Shannon? It is not. I think it's okay. in California. Okay. No, our island uh, does not look like that. We have another prompt here. A random fact I love is actuaries have the lowest divorce rate of any occupation. But don't uh, they have a very high suicide rate? So, like, isn't that oh, cheating? So. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. This one okay. actually yeah. does well with, like, like the, like, engineers, accountants, like, the mm-hmm. doctors, like, the higher career ones. Yeah. They, they now, tend to go for that prompt. But, Shannon, isn't it true that the reason why actuaries have the lowest divorce rate is that they are very aware of the damaging financial repercussions of a divorce? Mm. Probably. They also probably get married a little later because we have, like, a lot of exams and stuff. Yeah. And maybe risk adverseness. hmm Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But should we bring up divorce rourke like at the beginning you know what i mean like oh we're, yeah we're, why are we bring so, up okay, divorce on the main well, page? well like like i said let's go thing by thing but okay. my first piece of advice because from scrolling is this picture you need to move up to spot number one okay um, good picture. yeah that is a great picture it is well lit a pe- this is like t- toothy smiles do better than closed lip smiles. Oh, okay, um, I remember that. And also like, I'm going to be, I just want to like say up front that I'm going to say a lot of like stereotypical gender things on this episode. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so like, we're just going to put that disclaimer on everything. Yeah. Normally we don't do stuff like that, but this episode it's open season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And um, everybody. Yeah. We're just, you know, we're just we're just talking about what's working for Shannon. OK. Mm. But yes. So bright, toothy smile, hair down. OK. Pick number one. All Pick right. Strong. Yeah. Um, then we have another prompt. Change my mind about TV is so much better than movies. Do you want to be arguing with like no, film buffs? This one yeah. is terrible. I hate it. It only works to like knock people out because they say something obnoxious. And so, yeah, yeah that one, not, not mm-hmm. great. It doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then we got, are you uh, riding a fake horse or is this a real horse? Is that a donkey? I think it's a donkey. It's just a donkey. donkey. Well, then it, it is, is it, a donkey. Oh, put that on the next like sentence, this, Will. Uh, is a donkey a fake horse? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we have, uh, you're in front of, uh, that. it says uh, chocolate everything. Is that? This uh, is, this was on the set of The Good Place. Oh, I okay. Universal Studios. Oh, cool. Ah, uh, so if somebody can, can spot that, that's like, all right, that's an instant winner. Now that's interesting because you're barely visible in this picture. So I guess if you want, if you're trying to attract, I, a good yeah, that's a trade off. Yeah, but you could that's barely true. see you. I felt like I need a more. I don't know. If, I guess this one's more full body. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, okay. wait. So let's let's now start at the top. Hmm. Okay. So, okay. Also, ge- like taking a step back, I also think this is what I was saying, sort of about like general stuff. I think that like there's a bit of like obviously dating is a mutual selection process, right? And so there has to be, I think, a little bit of thinking into your profile about like who do you want to attract, like what, like based on what your goals are and like what you want. Who, like, what types of people are you looking for? And I think that that can like guide some of your answers. And I'm also, I, I cannot take credit for this. I heard this on TikTok, but I like really believe it. Um, mm-hmm. I think on your profile, you want to create more allergies than attractors where the better thing to do, because like women do statistically get more matches than men. And so what you want to do more so than like I was saying earlier, appeal to a bunch of people yeah. is you actually want to turn off the wrong people. And so have things on your profile that are like maybe a little bit controversial or weird. Like, you know, if you have like, if there's something about you that makes you different than the other like people in your area or like something like that like put focus on that don't try to downplay things that make you different or things about what you're looking for that are important to you that might preclude people because you only need like you only unless you're like polyamorous or like non or ethically non-monogamous you really only need one like you only got to get it right once right so like Mm -hmm. You don't need everybody in your book. Would you recommend this advice for Akiva in my Apple podcast profile? Do we want to be creating more allergies? I, no, that's a different, it's a different, different economic. Exercise. Could you punch up <laughs> we need multiple listeners. profile? Yeah. <laughs> we, we do have at least one, uh, like I mean, we've got a, a Facebook group with, you know, uh, you know, a couple hundred. So people, some people do like the podcast, but should we be trying to go like further down the rabbit hole and really just, apply, you know, turn more people off? What get one fan, like the last fan standing. I like that idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Figure out like really and mar- and out. Both marry them. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So first picture, I I like this picture a lot. Keep this picture. Just like move it. Um, okay. And it's but no, I think this is a great picture. At home. Okay. It is not actually, but it looks like a bathing suit. So it was at a, it was at my friend's yeah, wedding. It so it's a bridesmaid dress. But yeah, okay. it does. In the- okay. Yeah. So, so just obviously audio medium. Um, it is a selfie of Shannon where she's at the beach. Um, she's wearing like a. It's a strappy tank top, hence why we're confused as to it being a swimsuit. And um, she's smiling. She looks gorgeous. It's a great picture. Okay. All right. So where do we want to go from here, Rourke? We want to work on these prompts? I think so. I think that makes sense. Okay. All right. So do you have a specific prompt that you like, Rourke? Um, so I'm a big – so you do want to – like you want to lower the barrier to entry of somebody like messaging you and having something to say. Right. And so that's why, like, I actually don't think like change my mind about is a bad one. Um, unless it's obviously seemingly attracting people that just annoy you and like, you don't want to get with. Um, I think that like the, head over to so um she right now is like on the like all the prompts options um head over to let's chat about okay so and while Rob finds that uh, shannon do you do people respond message you about the real estate one because i feel like it's like sure but it you know what i mean it's like a little boring yeah they do more like do. same or blah 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 but honestly like, yeah, if crazy. i'm the, if i'm there and maybe i'm you know uh like i have one track mind towards oh money. boy but- akiva family <laughs> podcast come on no, i meant i meant to but she's like buying a house i'm like oh this is a person who is like on her own she's clearly single but she's able to buy a house like that's you know that's what i was like, going for plenty of money Financial yeah secure. plenty of money that, that's what i'm thinking you know mm-hmm. um but uh then the second half is just like yeah the economy or whatever in this economy yeah yeah. Okay. No, can yeah, I just so- ask a question about like on on the top I see like self-care, let's chat about date vibes. Are those like different categories of prompts that there are? Nailed that. Yep. Okay. Got it. All right. So we're right now we're in let's chat about. Yeah. So I think these are great because they obviously like their concept is that they like invite conversation. So like I do think um like I'll pick the topic if you start the conversation is one that works really well. Um 
I also like things that like encourage. So like, I also think like starting positive is always good, right? Like you want a easy, comfortable, funny banter in the early messages to establish if you want to meet up, right? Can, because can like, I ask a question, Mark, about uh, yeah. I'll pick the topic if you start the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, how, what's the difference between the topic and the conversation? That's a good question. Well, that's like me saying to you, I'll pick the topic if you start the conversation. Um, so it's like avocados. So best, he's got to give me his avocado. Or is it just like sport in the Olympics? And then you have mm, to mess. Oh like boy, the here we go. You start <laughs> the conversation and say like, I think it's gymnastics because da da da. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also think if you write the topic, because I'm wondering, should this be on the wheel, Akiva? Uh, you pick the topic, we start the conversation. It's not bad. That's not That's bad. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, I I think also like if we could, you know, stereotype straight men for a second here, which is what Shannon is looking for. Uh, you know, they like to give their opinions, so I like this. Also, it's like, uh, you know, give me travel, like you know, give me travel tips. It says here. All right, they'll tell you if they're if she's into travel or is looking for someone to travel. Like they'll you know do it. There's literally one that says teach me something about. I don't know. Men like to hear have their opinions uh, heard. So this is, you know, likely to get a response. Now, the question also I we could ask Shannon is like, what what is there something particular you're looking for, Shannon? Like, what is there a type of guy? Yeah, or... what do you like? Um, I mean, successful, hot, funny would be great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Incredible. All three. Six, but... like successful, hot and funny. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, But I'm not, I'm not like random hookups. Long term, mm -hmm. like. Um, I'm very career oriented. I want someone else who is, I mean, I spend like a ton of time having to study for my mm -hmm. job. So I need a little, also a little independence. Like I, I can't do constant, constant like needs and conversations and, mm -hmm. you know, like needy. So not you about want a needy. successful, hot, funny, and not needy guy. Do you think it's possible that there are none in the small town that you live in in Ohio? Like that this person literally doesn't exist? Mm -hmm. It is possible. You know? Yeah. This what if I, I think, you, you yeah. could only have two? Ah, one well, must Well, I mean, I guess it could go. be like, they don't have to be like the 100% in these categories. You know? Okay. Be like, Except for success. They need to be yeah. Except for success. Successful. I'm not. All right. Kidding. But at least like somewhat a little career driven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you rank them successful, hot, and funny? Mm. Yeah. Um, you're probably. Well, maybe not, not really funny, but like not terrible to be around, I guess. So like, mm -hmm. good enough personality. Because you're so, pretty I guess... successful. I kind of feel like that. Uh, that I feel like that's negotiable, right? And successful is like loose. Like they could be like a teacher, but like mm -hmm. a great. And that's teacher. not like. Yeah. Successful, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. So you're not saying rich. You just mean good at what you do. Or you, you can get success more successful. Money. Right. You can't get uh, much hotter or funnier. Well, we if you're really hot. wealthy, it's easier. <laughs> you to get, get less hot. hot sometimes. Yeah. As the life course continues, we all get less hot. So true. So you're, the, you're saying the hottest day we've ever had was when we were a baby. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. No, let's not do that. Yeah. Um, Shana, can, can you answer an age old question that we've had on the podcast? Is Ted Danson hot as a good place Stan? I have to look. I need a picture. Mm -hmm. Rourke says thumbs up. I'm not a good place, Dan. I haven't even watched it. I just you haven't even watched it. it. Why oh, do you have a picture with a good in the good, good place on your hand? Well, I, I, also, yeah, yeah. I thought you loved <laughs> it. <laughs> You're barely in that picture. I thought you it was your favorite yeah, TV no, show. Lose that picture. <laughs> I also I also had pictures in Superstore because we went there and I actually watched that show. But then it just looks like I'm in a grocery store and it like mm -hmm. works even less. Mm -hmm. Um, God, unbelievable. <laughs> Thank God we came to the rescue here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It's the last picture. Mm -hmm. We don't even get that far. That's fair enough. Okay. All right. Why? Well, I, I know what I would do. Yes. My mine would just if it was be your like profile. But if it was yeah. my if I was a woman looking for a, a straight guy, I think it would just be like us. Uh, are you okay with sports fans or no, Shannon? Um, it's okay. Okay, not. I'm fine with because I think I would just yeah. have like uh, LeBron is way better than MJ, and then the fellows would just be coming to the yard. I think. You have to know facts. Mm -hmm. about that the thing though. is, though, she has to actually care about it. <laughs> yeah, um, but I, I want to hear more about Akiva's ideas of what women want. I'm still working <laughs> to, to on. get into debates <laughs> about LeBron versus Jordan. <laughs> no, well, this is I what men say, want technically. He has a point because I think what a lot of like people, men and women on dating apps, do is. 
they will put like women will put things about like loving to watch reality shows or whatever. And the thing is like, that's for other women. Like that's what I, like I talk I about. Beg Real I disagree Rourke. Well, no, 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 no. Like for me, like Real Housewives Vanderpump Rules, like is a much mm. more female leaning. Tell that to Brian show. Cohen. Fair mm-hmm. enough. Um, but the, I have always really noticed like a man, like a man's profile on the flip that mentions 90 day fiance or another, like something like that. I'm like, Oh, amazing. Like what a funny thing I can talk to him about. Mm -hmm. And so if, if somebody is listening to this, who is a woman, if it is true for you, absolutely put something about sports on your profile. Because the thing is like, that is something that like it, it plays the reverse for the opposite gender. Right. So it's like, that will work well. Because, Rourke, if, if you don't even, like, care about sports, but just, like, pretending you do, like, that's stat fishing, right? Yes. Do not pretend. That is, don't be, you're don't only be setting yourself up for out failure. There. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, I don't like concerts, for example. So, like, I don't push any shit about music. Like, I'm not going to put, like, also, I don't really love travel. I listen like, to er- of- an album every single week. Uh, <laughs> exactly. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Those are stuff. Right. And oh, you don't like travel, so you wouldn't mention travel. Yeah, I don't really have the travel bug. I will travel if somebody else makes like the barrier to entry really low for me. Like I'm going on a trip with a girlfriend from college who like fucking loves travel. everything and is mm-hmm. paying for it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, no, no, no. We're obviously splitting the cost. Teaser. But um, but no, she like has everything unlocked. There are Google Docs, and I'm like amazing. I because like I I can't yeah. think about this, but I would love to go on this trip. So thank you. Okay. Um. So yeah. Um. Okay. So. I also really like like things that get the other person to maybe like get out of the app and like look something up. So for example, something I had on my profile for a while, or I think probably like for a very long time was there's something where it's like, if you find this funny, we'll get along or like, we'll get along if I like that one a lot, um, as a prompt. And I had, um, you think the avatar font SNL sketch is funny. Wow. Okay. Mm. Now that is a niche joke. Yeah. Now, is that about uh, the film Avatar? Yes. Where okay. Ryan Go- it's like Ryan Gosling and he's depressed because the creators of Avatar used papyrus. Mm-hmm. And it's like mm. the laziest choice. Yeah. Shots fired. Yeah. And um, it's just a really funny. I will go like, check that out it right after we get off the podcast. Yeah. It's like an SNL sketch that really like tickles my funny bone and a lot of people will say like that's amazing do you also love nathan for you and i'm like yes i do that's like right in that wheelhouse Mm -hmm. and um or they'll be like i just like got off hinge and googled this and like circled back that's so funny so you know like something like that yeah this is now i think i like that's a niche joke also although you're you're in socal right so i think they're more likely it's people there may be more likely to get like some media stuff type thing yeah (laughs) yeah yeah uh, that's the only people that like Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm, um, exactly. But so, Shannon, have you considered, like, we'll get along if you like my favorite episode of Robin Akiva Need a Podcast? Mm. Hmm. What yeah, is your I favorite would... episode? What would be your favorite episode, Shannon? What would be my favorite episode? Uh, maybe Family Feud. Family Feud. You know, we, if you'd we won. do, yeah. uh, but uh, listen, this is obviously, they're not going to have heard of this in Ohio. That's why they mo- have to most... go listen to it. That's ah, what I got saying. it. No, but what if she would say, like, I am sort of like, uh, uh, like, a, uh, like a, a character, like on the, you know, in, on, a, on podcast. a podcast. Do you think that would be something? And they're like, what podcast? Mm-hmm. And then you could like feel them out. If they're like fratty, you tell them, I don't know, some like gross comedian. But then if it's, you know, you could just tell them us. I don't know. Yeah, yeah you know, I mean, that would work. <laughs> don't uh, send us any listeners that we don't yeah. approve of. It, the, so going off that, like, I don't think that's a bad idea. Like, I think you could go with something like you should leave a comment if, um, like, you should leave a comment if you have a podcast recommendation. Like, all, like always looking, yeah. like, yeah. 
you know, like always looking to be like listening to something new, you know, something like that. Like that was like kind of a dud, the, mm -hmm. my second class. No, that's but, a like, good one. I think that's yeah. a good example because like I said, guys like giving their opinions on things and telling women to watch things and not always and being interested in. And that's a broad enough category, unlike the TV versus movies ones where it's like, you're not going to mm -hmm. end up in a fight and it'll also reveal some information, right? Like to your point, like if they recommend Joe Rogan, like maybe that's not for you. And, or if they recommend like some, like whatever. Uh, have you checked out a little podcast called the Joe? broken podcast talk about niche jokes <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so i i like that idea yeah yeah can we put that in for 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 next week like uh you know give me a podcast uh recommend a podcast for me it's I like think. i didn't like uh meet any guys but i got a ton of podcast <laughs> yeah, recommendations i'm too busy actually to date i'm just listening yeah, to yeah. get the what was it what was the episode where we listened to 12 different podcasts akiva I don't remember podcast, the name, but podcast power hour. Podcast, podcast power, power hour. hour. Okay, yeah, could be the hour. setup, Shannon. You're the guest then at that point. But I, I, the only problem, if I like, with that, and I like this prompt, Rourke, but it's not encouraging. And and Shannon is looking for a relationship, so maybe she's looking for like a slow burn here. But like, it's not. If let's say it was a concert, to use your example of something you don't like, let's say it was like I love a goose, right? I love goose, <laughs> and the, the band, not the, the animal. And oh, then I, it's like, just, okay. I didn't even know that was a band. It, Rourke, yeah. Akiva wants to go leave his family and follow Goose on tour. It's true. I, I do want to do that. Is that like a That's his dream. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is my God. One of my dreams. Okay. No, I mean, my dream is not to leave my family, but if it, that's what it takes, I, I'm willing to, <laughs> to be a groupie for Goose. Like, at least yeah, they're similar. Fish. They're like the new fish. They're the new fish. Oh, but I don't Jesus. even like fish. I don't even listen. Anyway. Well, all their songs are 18 minutes long. No one Yeah, no, Goose fish. also is long. So, um, so I, but you know what I'm saying? Like here, if it was like, I love, uh, she's in Ohio, the Cleveland guardians or whatever, like, oh, let's go to a guardians game. We're here. We're not going to like necessarily listen to a podcast together. I'm wondering if like a prompt sure. could like lead them to like, I love, you know, fishing. It's like, Hey, let's go fishing or something. Yeah, no, I think, I think that's a great one. Um, cause similarly you could do something like, you know, or like you could always script your answer and then find like a prompt that gets you there. Like you don't have to go by prompt and think of an answer, right? Mm -hmm. Think of something you want to convey. And so you could do something like, I'm pretty sure I know the best Thai place in town, but like, take me to yours and let's like duke it out. Mm -hmm. I'm about two hours away. Something like that. <laughs> I'm about two hours away from any major city and there is no, no Thai place. Okay, okay. Fine, 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 we're fine. we're really landing idea. on yeah we, we were gonna rourke we were gonna do a podcast with a listener named david i think we still will at some point um where we pick him we help him like pick a city that he's gonna move to next oh my mm -hmm. god I, we might need shannon to come we might need shannon to come on that episode what if, but it is interesting because i did i was looking at this with the applicants which is like there were some big city people and then there were people i don't remember if you did shannon who like specified like I'm in a small town, so it's very hard. Like, I know the people there or, like, you know, the radius is pretty small. Like, mm -hmm. so it is interesting because the truth is, if you live in L.A., you know, if you're looking for a, a straight guy, there's, you know, five million people. Yeah. It's, and you're it's, starting it's, from five million. And if you live in a small town in Ohio, you're starting at, you know, 20,000 if you're willing to go to neighboring towns, maybe, you know. So, maybe. Shannon, question for you. Yeah. I, this is just something I've heard. I have heard that Tinder is actually much better in small towns, that people in cities oh. rarely use Tinder, but people, but like Tinder has an exponentially larger user base than Hinge and Bumble. And it's something that I've heard people in smaller places, like smaller population places much prefer. So that's something to think about maybe i i don't know i haven't tried it um i just hinge kind of has more of the the like long-term vibe i guess then and i it does. i and don't disagree at all that's why i'm saying like i've only heard this as applied to smaller cities okay yeah. yeah it makes sense just because yeah. if they have to, 10x the users then there'll be people there who there's just more people there the numbers game yeah okay mm-hmm all right. Well, what are some other things that we could be punching up here on Shannon's profile? Well, should we talk about pi pictures a little bit? Mm hmm. Go back. Because I think that um, every 
every picture should be like doing something for you, right? Either conveying something about your personality or about obviously. Oh, not sh- your every appearance. picture you should be doing something in the picture. No, yeah, no, 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 like definitely frisbee not. In that every would, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> An action shot, every picture. No. Um, and so I think that like you want to go through with a careful eye and really ask, like, what is this doing for me? Like, what is this adding? Is this something that somebody can talk about? Um, so I think like a dog picture is great. Um, can I say something about the dog picture? Yeah. Um, just, you know, uh, I, I, I also, I do think in this dog picture, I don't know how old it is. You look extremely young in the dog. Picture. I, this is That's like, a good call. this is within the last year. I, Oh. I, just I just think it's the picture, across. but I do think like yeah. but how you might, you might attract the wrong people with yeah. it, with this picture. You come. You look, like two. you look very young. Dog is two. Uh, dog years. That's fourteen. Still, still young. Still underage. Yeah. Shannon, is there a picture that you have with the dog where you have better posture? I mean, or probably could you not. Take but one? I could get one. Yeah. Okay. Great. Take one. How about this? Um, what, what are you trying to say with the dog photo? Are you trying to say mm-hmm. I love my dog? Are you trying to say like, look, me and the dog are wearing uh, the same outfit? Well, people like dogs. Probably, probably more so that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly. Because you probably have other dog photos. You don't have to use the one where you're wearing the no, same outfit. No. But people commented on some, some sometimes. Sure, but also I, I think you should be like the star of most of these yeah. photos, and like the dog, it's hard to outshine this dog. Yeah. Um, but and no, also, I, I, I think yeah, she's. I think, think her instincts are really right. Like, I think if if you like animals and want a pet, like with your partner, definitely. Like this makes perfect sense. They can be like, oh, what's the dog's name? Like, what a cute dog. This is my dog. Yeah. Like that. Do that. Do but that. Perfectly. That's some red flags, work because that dog is very cute. You don't want the wrong guy just showing it who just wants to play with the dog. Mm-hmm. You know, I have seen actually, there are a lot of like prompts about that. Like a lot of people will write about that. Like, um, like I'll let you like, you like I understand if you swipe right like because of the dog or like because you mm-hmm, want to hang mm-hmm. out with you know what so like it, play into that I think that's fine yeah shouldn't yeah. you get maybe Shannon an uglier dog so that you know oh, that God. the guy is there for you <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and not just there to play with the very cute dog cats are Rob the cats are ugly dogs I don't know I what do you what, think Akiva, about right under this is like uh hey everybody like I uh, just want to make sure that uh this is uh f- like for uh, men are like this but then it's going to like mm-hmm. really just nah, come I'm for everybody's I'm cats. Teasing. Nah, cats are great. Um but and then so the picture under the dog picture is like you and your brothers. What do you think about that one, Rourke? I like that one. I do think Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of one picture a little later that does include other people. Mm -hmm. Um, You should never have your first picture be multiple people. Um, Who is it? Pardon? Yeah, I'm saying, right, because who is it? Someone someone applied. And I was just, I look up, especially, I look up and make sure these people, we know, we know Shannon, but, you know, the people who applied weren't serial killers. And even in, like, Facebook (laughs) pictures... It was hard for at least one or two of them to tell who the potential guest was because it was them and a couple friends. Like, I don't yeah. know who. And I'm face blind. So it's very always hard for me. But, mm-hmm. the, it, you know, I didn't know who, who was who there. Yeah. No, it's a real problem. Um, I think men, I, I, I see it a lot. I try to talk to my guy friends about like, because, for example, on TikTok, I get a lot of like content about women dating. And so I try to ask my guy friends, you know, what are women doing that, are really like not generic profiles or uninteresting or, you know, like Mm -hmm. whatever. And um, so I think men do the like multiple guys in a first profile picture more than women. Yeah. Um, But, and I think this one works because you are with. What are the guys saying? You, you took us down that road and now uh, we're like on the edge of our seats. I mean, they, what are the guys saying? So we just, we'll talk about like really generic, like things people say, for example, like a classic tacos. one is, yeah, tacos, tequila, being competitive about everything. Um, so it just, yeah, stuff like that. Um, the but office. I think, oh yeah, the office, do not put the office on your profile. Like I beg of you. Um, what if you love the office? <laughs> it needs to be version. crazy. Like. <laughs> 
our wedding needs to be a beat for beat recreation of Jim and Pam. You know, like it well, needs beat, to. Be- well, if it was beat for beat, it would probably then should probably be Dwight Schrute. I think to be fair. <laughs> hey oh, that was good. Um, but no, I would also. I'm also not a huge fan of pictures of if you are trying to, if you are a woman trying to date a man, a picture of you and a man. Um, mm-hmm. However, the brothers are okay. This is two men and you are clearly related. Mm -hmm. Like, this is Mm -hmm. fine. Um, So, yeah, I think a family picture is nice. Um, What if the guy you're with, okay, that his face is like you've you've gone in 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 Photoshop. You take his face out and you write in the blank spot your face here. Ah. That would get some 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 (laughs) banter going. It would. And I've actually seen that. Um, I don't love it. (laughs) Can, can we punch up this actuaries thing, which is her second Wait. written prompt here? I think we should get, I just think we got to improve this. A random fact I love is actuaries have the lowest divorce rate of any occupation. You know what? I actually don't hate this one, especially since she said it's catching people that would interest her, like engineers and yeah. like people with kind of like ambitious yeah. careers. And it's an allergy too, right, Rourke? And also, it does like, it's gonna weed Kiva. out a Kiva who's like, "Hey, looking for divorce? What actuaries. am I looking for?" No, 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 no she's but... already said she's an actuary at the top, though. Yeah, but it also, to me, this is one of those things where, because of this, she can go silly on other things. Where mm-hmm. a podcast is like very, like the the podcast suggestion prompt is very light, whereas this one is like. I'm looking to not get divorced. Like I am mm-hmm. looking for something serious. I like this to me conveys long-term relationship energy. And so I, like, I really, I actually don't hate this one. Okay. Yeah, she is. You're right. She is. It is very marriage centric. I, I do like that. She's anti-divorce. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that, that is interesting. Talk about creating an allergy. Like, pro-divorce. <laughs> A pro-divorce <laughs> profile. <laughs> My yeah. parents have been divorced anytime. Like, um, and, but I, wa- I also wonder, um, I mean, it's stupid, but it's like the, the private island thing is a fun fact. Do you think she could put that on there or is no. it going to attract bad people? That's a terrible idea. You got it. That's like one of those things you got to like reveal. Later nice one. Akiva. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I vote for leaving this one. Okay. Okay. And then we're uh, move this picture up. Yes, uh, and, we're, and we're changing. Uh, change my mind about TV is so much better than movies. Is that becoming the podcast uh, question? That could be leave a comment if um, you have a like podcast recommendation. I like that. Well, idea. I thought that was the t- what's the top one then? What are it we can, opening? She with? can choose. You can move them around. Oh yeah, um, I thought that might okay. be the top one. By the way, would this be? You know how I said that was if you go up to the top picture, and you know I said this looked like a bathing suit, but really it's um it, it's a bridesmaid dress that just happened to be on the beach. Yes, and you just see her shoulders. What what if it was like answer you know settle debate or like you know what like is this a bathing suit or a bridesmaid dress? I think getting somebody to like comment on whether or not she's wearing a baby like th- that again. I think that's going to get the wrong. Okay, you're probably person right. You're probably right. Who's like definitely a bikini? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <You're probably right. laughs> okay. So uh, are we keeping the first prompt, which is this year I really want to buy my first right. home. No, I, I think the only prompt we're keeping is the actuary and divorce rate. Okay. okay. All right. So we need right. that. And we have one that we're talking about with podcasts, but that means we have room for another prompt. Yeah. That's let's fine. Let's figure out one more. Okay. And we're, um, we're not private Island. What is there something you like, Shannon? Like what's, uh, you know, like what, what else is a um, fun fact about you? Well, famously, I like Excel, but that's probably not. Not a ghost. Right. She is like yeah. a world expert. I don't in Excel know, but War. it's an allergy, right, Rourke? Does should she talk about how much? I mean, she's her name is Excel Shannon. Yeah. I mean I also could... I've seen one guy with Excel in his profile. And he was like sw- swipe right. He was like a hundred and twenty minute drive away. So oh, I think like it's a hundred and twenty years old. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> <laughs> No, hey, Grandpa, get off him. I think my age limit work. is like I don't know, twenty three to twenty nine or something. Is what mm-hmm. it filters on. Yeah, but what if she loves Excel, Rourke, shouldn't she yeah. talk about it? Should be like, hey, I'll teach you a function, an Excel function. Like, just ask me, or I'm like mm-hmm. the world. I'm probably the best in the world at Excel, or something like that. Because it also yeah. shows like I'm smart. You know what I mean? Like people are like, all right, someone's looking for a smart person. And then yeah. maybe someone no, who would be intimidated that. by that yeah. is going away. Now, hold on. Totally. Did, 
do you use Google Sheets also? Oh, we've no. gone over this. Never. She's very into okay it. because Only when required when it's shared with me. Because uh, what what if you told people, hey, uh, I'm a lady in the street, but. <laughs> A freak in the sheets, but you only use Excel. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yes, <laughs> a freak in the Google Sheets. A freak in the well, Google Excel sheets. sheets. They're still sheets. <laughs> they're still they're still sheets. They're still yeah. spreadsheets. Yeah, she doesn't like them. Yeah, but that might attract the wrong crowd. That that's yeah. a very funny <laughs> yeah. actuarial it's not, joke. It's, but you could use I don't that. Get into it now, yeah. but uh, Google Docs is way better than Microsoft Word, Shannon. I, we don't have to elaborate. But I, mean, I don't better. care about Word. Yeah, it's much. I, it's I mean, not it, a Microsoft it, it, it like thing. Has, it's an Excel thing. It has like a Google spell check. If you write a name, Microsoft Word's never heard of like Giannis Antetokounmpo, and uh, and Google Docs has. <laughs> well, I'm not writing about him. Okay. Um. So you could do like unusual skills there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. And don't just like this is a good example. Of, like, don't just say Excel. Like, find like find a way to make it a little bit more gripping. Of like, I can like. And like apply it to something real, like right. So like I, I don't know. Are you familiar with like Bachelor Data, the Instagram account? No. So um, it's a girl who um, similar like in Excel, like d does tons of data aggregation about the Bachelor, like screen time, word usage, like all this, like Instagram followers, all this stuff. Yeah. And she offers Excel classes where you work with like fun data sets to try to make like Excel fun and accessible to people. And so like, say like unusual skills could be um, like aggregating the data, like to like uh, to draft the best fantasy team you know like make it applicable to something mm. else yeah, that's good. like don't like connect it to something so that they can they're you're actually like putting two pieces of information in one prompt i have done it no. before with big brother but that's probably not a go-to for this that's no, no, good. Would, that's the wrong crowd yeah no the wrong, the wrong people the wrong people yeah but yeah, something like that. Something true for you. I'm obviously just like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So where do we I go see. from here now? So Shannon, you do you feel like you have enough intel to move forward with a revamped hinge? Um. Yeah. Move pictures around. Maybe redo. I probably don't have. I need to get more pictures. More I was gonna pictures. say. I think you should take some. Dog. Go like it sounds cheesy as hell, but like grab a friend who you're not embarrassed around and like go take some pictures um and like bring an outfit change or two outside natural Ooh. light we're heading into a good season of the year for that like um i would just do that and i think that if you could find like one picture of like an act like doing an activity you enjoy um that would be that would be preferable to like the last two, like the donkey one and the good place one, especially since you don't watch the good place. Like that one's literally. <laughs> you even like donkeys? That one's literally conveying zero yeah. information. No one, no one has ever picked up on it being part of the good place. I'm not even sure how big of a part it is of mm -hmm. the good place. Probably not at all. I don't. But know. Yeah, do, that... do you care about donkeys? Uh, I mean, not indifferent probably to okay. donkeys. All right. Well. Then I mean, you're getting like the shut up Tims of the world uh, at that point. So the if you Shrek don't care about that, yeah, the, Shrek, okay. the Shrek stands. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. So yeah, you're going to make these, you're going to make these switches this weekend and then we'll give you a week, maybe two. We'll see. And, uh, and we will have you come back and we'll report back on we'll if, follow you know, up. if we change your life. And if you, um, you know, if, if you end up meeting someone, um wow we we what happens we get we go to heaven and maybe get a few weeks uh, on the private island you can come to the private island whatever but again it's i know we're in far, middle of nowhere mm -hmm. that's it is close to to me though it's like 15 it's minutes away we gotta we gotta pick a city a bigger move to a bigger city for like okay. listen you move for a year you find the guy and then you bring him back to the home it's easy yeah <laughs> right all right now shannon do you have any last questions for rourke uh no i don't think so okay all right um well shannon good luck and yeah. and and let us know how it goes okay all right thank you okay all right thank you shannon. there's excel shannon okay all right so uh 
Rourke, great job with Excel Shannon. Um, we uh, and and uh, Shannon uh, stick a uh, hangout, uh, but we're gonna bring in our next uh, guest here. We have one other profile to right. We're doing two Akiva. We're doing two, and Shannon two. we've met several times, but this person is new to us. So okay, let's bring in to... uh, a, another woman who we are going to help her with her profile. Uh, it's Brie. Uh, she calls herself Brie like the cheese. Like the cheese. Oh, 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 oh hold on. Bad audio. Uh-oh. <laughs> First issue. Okay. Uh, that. Uh, let me hear you one more time. That's not, that's not getting better. All right. Uh, can we get you to maybe go leave the stream yard and come back in? Sure. Look, that's a huge turn off with guys, right? Bad audio. <laughs> yeah. I, Robot I'm, voice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's. I, I couldn't date a woman with bad audio. With robot I will, voice? I actually will say um, yeah. the voice. I find the voice prompts on Hinge great. Yeah. There's like a little there's oh, yeah. one where you can like record your voice. And um, I think like I think hearing somebody's voice is very like intimate. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it let's, works really well, especially if you have a good voice. And you, you have a good voice people feel connected so to a Let's enemy. give Brie one for the let's give Brie one okay. then, like a voice okay. prompt. Okay. Voice prompt. Okay. Brie? Yes. Hi everyone. Oh, so Perfect. much better. It, it was robot-like. It was that. Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I see. I didn't know if it was y your connection or that's your voice. It's my throat. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. probably yeah. why. That would have been awkward. That would have been she so awkward. She can't meet anybody that's... because she has like a horrible <laughs> digital robot voice. Yeah, it's one of my ailments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, Bree, where are you uh, uh, calling us from? Uh, Southern part of the California. World. Yeah, your old. Oh, South. okay. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of guys there, according to Akiva, and they all like <laughs> SNL. <laughs> yeah, I I'm not. Have you in, noticed that? Yeah, I, well, I yeah, the SNL part partly, but I'm not in similarly to Shannon, a large metropolitan city, and then the suburbs, the burbs, if you will, and I will, and <laughs> it's it it's hard. It, thank you. It is it is hard to find men in life that aren't waiters. That's more. Oh, that. no yeah. waiters. Okay. <laughs> Bas basically, the only men I interact with are waiters at restaurants. Ah, so you weren't saying anything anti waiter. Oh, no. You weren't saying anything anti waiter. You're just saying you only interact the only with waiters. That's the only demographic of men that I'm you know, interacting with on a daily basis. This so, is a waiter um, shortage right now, Brie. <laughs> mm. I, yeah, seen? I am. I am in need. You've been to restaurants. You've seen some of these wait times. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> yard house um so yeah it, it has been it has been difficult coupled with the fact that i do live at home so um it, yeah. it, it, is, it is a bit difficult to find uh, males okay in my area all right so i need your help and, and brie how did you come to us are you a listener of the podcast i am so actually my brother Vinny, if you will um he was a he was a patron for years and really introduced what happened me to, to him He's still alive. He's okay? Yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we are. Yeah, but he Rob, you asked that question, and my heart dropped because uh, what I, if someone really got at him? Did I do? Did what I do? Was the, I, what was the upside of that question? That, my first thought was that oh, he must have died because <laughs> I don't understand. But, but then you said why you know, what happened to him? Like, what if he like got run you over? You know what I think you know? it is, Rob. So oh my god, introduced to the RHEP community circa 2014. If you remember season 16, Big Brother. Sure. Um, that was our gateway into the community. And mm -hmm. he was like, you know, you have to get introduced to the RHAP megaverse. Um, at that time, it was different verbiage. But that's where I really was introduced to all of the, the different podcasts. And I got hooked. And then recently, I became a patron. I think where he dropped off, he still listens to you religiously, just not as much okay. anymore. He just um, doesn't support you financially. Once right? on Sunday, yeah. Well, I actually bought him a cameo. Oh. By mm -hmm. you. Um, okay. And you never you never completed it. Uh, and so, well, you know what? That's, I don't know uh, if it was lingering resentment. I don't know. No, I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know. You know, sometimes like uh, I don't want to get into the whole like maybe Rourke, maybe you could help me like uh, fix up my cameo profile. I was going to say, do we need to punch um, your cameo? Yeah. Sometimes I just like, uh, you know, it's like a uh, you know, I, I I try I try to get to most of them, so I apologize. I'll, you can make it up I, right now it, if you want. Right. Yeah, please. Like, want uh, to record one right now for my Vinny. you live from my apartment. It's Rob has a cameo for Vinny. Hey, Vinny, what's going on? Hey, so happy uh, to hear that you and Bree are uh, into the podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, I know uh, that you listen religiously to the podcast, so thank you so much. Really appreciate you. 
Uh, really nice to talk to you and Bree. I know uh, Big Brother 16 was your uh, was your jam iconic season of Big Brother. Uh, you know, I, I don't have all of my stick figures here, but a bunch of my <laughs> friends here want to say hello. Hey, is that Boston Rump? Hey, Finney, what's going on? Don't listen to Sustanino. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. He's a uh, Tony. Is that you? Hey, oh my God. Hey, how are you? Hey, hey, Vinny. Uh, want to wish you a very, uh, good day. Hope you and Bree are, are doing great. Hey, is it Penner? Is that, is it? Hey, Vinny. How are you? Hope you're having a swell time. Nice talking to Bree and all the best to you, my pal. All right. Uh, Vinny, thank you so much for all the support. Uh, hope you and Bree are doing great. Enjoying Survivor 44. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Okay. <laughs> he would have loved that seven months ago. Oh, my God. See, you keep speaking about him in the past <laughs> tense. And this is like, he's, he's, yeah. we, although we do have mafia ties, he is alive and well. He lives in Burbank. You actually. play with Jordan Kalish? <laughs> No, you getting, you famously don't like mafia. Okay, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, no, thank you so much. I've I've I can die now and and, and go to jump pop heaven. Right. But that was, that was incredible. Thank <laughs> you. We call it general admission now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you so would get you there, Ian. Nice to meet you all. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Brie, all right. It's not because she's too shy. We've already learned this. Uh, no. I used to be though. Mm -hmm. I transitioned. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna, all, right. all right. We're gonna we're gonna go into Bree's hinge profile. And all right. So so here her. we go. So all right. So that uh, that Sam Moore is behind the scenes, and we have a we have a uh, a profile here Bro. to share. Okay. And now let me. See. I gotta uh, make this uh, full full screen so I can see. Cat. Uh, uh, my most controversial opinion is Cat in the Hat is the best movie ever created, as seen on my mom's fridge. This photo. Well, the first picture. I like that. I like the little caption on the, on the picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I like the picture caption. I think that that I think that's always like a good idea. Okay. okay. My most controversial opinion is uh, the Cat in the Hat is the, the best movie ever created. Is that with Mike Myers? Yeah, and I can unpack this whenever you need me to. Um, Should it, we put it in the is... crappy movie diaper? I, I would, yeah, I would love to be invited diaper. for that podcast as well. It's an incredibly divisive movie. Yes. It has a very low Rotten Tomato score. So like, yeah. that's what it is. Okay. Now, um, would you say it's better than TV shows? <laughs> I'd say so. Uh, yeah. Shannon, do you I, hear I, that? Do you hear that? It's no. Never what TV is. shows are we talking about? I think it was just so nostalgic. I actually watch it every year on my birthday um, to celebrate life. Uh, a six foot man in a, a giant cat suit really does it for me tormenting six-year-old children rourke have you Sorry. seen the cat um, in the hat movie no yeah and i'm fine with that. It's, it's, i just rewatched the, the sopranos and mm -hmm. I, the whole time i was thinking if he was only wearing yeah. a giant hat this would have been the, the greatest <laughs> Bree, uh, akiva once said uh, a cat is like an ugly dog was that oh, your experience God. watching uh, the cat in the hat because he is creepy he is um I think because I have a musical background, uh, yeah, it makes sense. Um, and he he does a few musical Works numbers. Out. He's he's witty. Um, so I, I think I just really have you seen the Pentaveret? I've never. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, you're, you're lucky. <laughs> is that a is horror that, film? Is no, it horror? No, it's because <laughs> some people would classify Cat in the Hat. As I mean, a, in some ways, a it's a horror film. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's it, let's keep scrolling, and then okay. and then I, I, okay. I think we're gonna have some takes for her here. Okay. All right. <laughs> You yeah, get ready. All right, next to it. Now hold on. Now, uh, Rourke, do you think that, that would be? A, yeah, you will. Uh, Rourke, is, would that you think that a lot of people have an allergy to uh, Cat in the Hat? Because I know that that is a <laughs> oh, very. I'm going to immediately allergy. suggest changing this one. <laughs> no. Yes. Very very. Do you allergic get a lot of? I mean, you hat. came to us, Bree. Do you get a lot of? Oh like, my god! Uh, interaction on this. This is my most interacted piece on the whole profile this and one that you will see okay. eventually scrolling yeah. down and uh, they're both probably on the same wavelength okay um but yeah it just it, it's eye-catching i'd say okay mm -hmm. all right all right scroll down next up all right we have all right here is uh, another photo of uh of brie oh let's okay. do the stats like we did for um, oh okay like yeah we for get the back of the baseball card okay yeah so she's okay. 25 right. years old Mm -hmm. Five foot four. I believe the exact same height as Shannon. You, can, okay, right, so. you uh, is that, this is a, a, a illness that you've had. <laughs> What's Corona? Okay. Yeah. Corona is my city, unfortunately. Now oh, that's okay. the virus. 
Oh, I'm so confused. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or the, the um, drink sometimes. Okay, so it's smoke. Uh, yeah, drink sometimes. Smoke, no. Uh, marijuana, even though it's 420 this week, no. Drugs, no. I'm a big wink girl. Yeah. Um, Say that one more time, Brie. This was actually taken at Disney, oh, Disney World. World. I'm a good girl. Good, good girl. Okay. girl. Yeah, Disney World. This was taken at the Boardwalk Resort at uh, Disney World, where you recently went. Okay. okay. Uh, and then what's that next photo? You're like, I'm glad you asked. You're, you're like next to a, a poster of a guy? So this is That's Harry, Harry Edward Styles. Yes. Um, at his, at his I will say concerning form. that she said the middle name, Rob. I'm yeah. Just saying that, right yeah okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well, and what is I, happening in this photo? It's very so blurry. I'm actually, does that make it better? I'm praying to him. Um, you're praying to <laughs> Harry I'm praying Styles. to Harry. I, and my friend's laughing at me. Very low quality friend, but it's not about her right now. Well, um, well yeah, well, the you're, picture you're, your friend is in low quality. quality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, is your friend, uh, <laughs> did she request to be blurred or is she moving so fast uh, no, to run away from you while you're three, doing this? It, it, we took it so quick and then they, they just took like 20 candids and whatever we got was what we got at 10 o'clock at night. But um, I wanted to mention that I, I was torn between using this one and using one where, uh, I don't know, how do I put this? politely my oh hand was on certain it's on a certain yes. uh, region on, on on the photo on harry styles picture on harry styles, yeah. you <laughs> violated Question. a photo of harry styles a real, yeah. a real rourke, picture, rourke would like to jump harry, in here and my harry okay, talk about sorry. attracting the wrong crowd <laughs> do you have a picture of yourself at the harry styles concert that like actually shows that it's viably you because right now like this <laughs> not just the could be googled the yeah, this is like a yeah. just a yeah. Because like I do, I think that I like we were like we were talking to Shannon about like you want all of your photos conveying information and mm -hmm. uh, like either one would convey that you like Harry Styles, but if you're if you are like advertising to straight men, this will not like help you right now. I aren't isn't she ultimately mm -hmm. saying work like. I'm funny. I would leave you. I would leave you. Well, it is you. It, you are saying you're funny for sure, but also it's the back of your head, so it's not clearly you. Um, mm -hmm. And then it's like I will never care about you as much as I care about Harry, which is probably going to be true mm -hmm. anyway. But I don't know. It's like here's another man who I like much more than you. It's making her, you know, hall, her hall pass very clear. Yeah. Mm. That's a good oh point. boy! Can I, that just to go back he to the hall, the hall pass. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if this is this might be an overshare, but. Yeah. Um, my, my wife awoke this morning from a mm -hmm. very, uh, she was what she described as a, as a very bad dream and nightmare where I was having an affair with a famous celebrity. And I don't know if it's too much of an overshare to say who the celebrity was, but I, I, I asked, was it a hall pass situation? And she said, no, it was not. And she was very upset with, she was me. upset. Can you say who it was? Just for I, rabbit? I, no, it was it was not. It was not. I don't think she'd be so mad. About yeah, I don't know. I don't, was I don't it know. somebody it's you know in real life or like a real like? No, no, not so, no, 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 somebody uh, that that I've met. Uh, this is uh, mm -hmm. like a legit celebrity. Okay. Hmm. Not not like the people I know. Okay. Uh, and so now the next thing, the way to win me over, if you could scroll down. The way here. to win me over is. A cheesy pun and an appreciation for Taylor Swift. Okay, well, Brie <laughs> liked the cheese. Okay, we know yeah. this. Um, but you would think that Brie, that your name, your name is Brie. I feel like that you would be sick of cheesy puns. Oh, I eat that bleep up for breakfast on a cracker. I, uh, <laughs> Wait, but but you also she's established work that she is willing to you know uh, to to leave you for Harry Styles, and then boom, one second later, I like Taylor Swift. Like this is just like. Uh, stay in culture. Like I stay in yeah, everything. Yeah. You're definitely kick, conveying... kick a lane. There's a lot. Well, Taylor. there's just like a lot of like. Pop, like, sort of, like other people. Pop millennial culture, I think. Um, And I also wonder about like. I'm wondering about. Uh, I'm, I'm almost wanting you to make a choice between ha Harry Styles and Taylor Swift. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll talk okay. about it. Yeah. Uh, she's my favorite person on earth. Okay, then let's keep then let's her. keep that. Um, yeah, let's keep her. But I do I really like the requesting a cheesy pun because I could see somebody responding to that being like, 
here's my, like, what do you think of this one? Here's my best shot. You know, like I could, I could mm-hmm. see that like a uh, encouraging that type of engagement. Yeah. I like, okay. I like that. Like you look Gouda. Yeah. 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 I've got exactly. Gouda. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. It is, it is hard. I'd say, I'll say um, with the straight males, finding someone who appreciates Taylor Swift because I, 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 I this is a modification. I used to put likes Taylor Swift and I I wasn't it wasn't hitting it really wasn't so you toned it down to just an appreciate her maybe could we go tolerance yeah yeah. we go tolerance yeah yeah Yeah. so I mean I something I had for a while was um I think I I think it was this one the way to win me over is maybe um I think it was like or like you'll probably I can't remember what the stimulus question was um But it was about, like, mock my – this was, like, my nod to kind of reality TV, where it was, like, mock my preferences in TV shows, but eventually the mocking turns to investment. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Mm Mm-hmm. On your dating profiles, did you ever mention you were on a reality TV show or never? Never. Never, never, never. Uh, it's, you think- it's LA, Keeve. No one gives got a it, shit. Got it, got it. Fair uh, enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, Everyone here was on a reality show that's or true. was okay. a dead person on Law & Order SVU. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fair Season seven for me. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, then keep, keep, keep going. swimming. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, please. Okay. And then we have a photo that says, uh, you are most beautiful with a thumbs up. That's cute. Picture. That's fun. Yeah. I like that. Thank I you. I like that. Guys, very And then very I get a lot of arm. like, yeah. I love what you the draw. walls does. Mm-hmm. Also taking it to see that. Longest arm ever from the- I would okay, even, if there's two ways there's that prompt, okay. I would be like, okay. message me if your right. arm is longer than this guy. Here's the yeah. take. Here's yes. The take. Okay. All right. <laughs> the one thing you should know about me is I've been known to take a shot of ranch a time or two. Where's Touchdown Tommy? Oh, he lives in California, Touchdown Tommy, I think. Is he single? Sorry, what? I, don't I, know. I think last time we spoke, maybe. Mm-hmm. Got to check. Okay. A shot or of ranch a time or two. Now, had you just recently appeared on the television show? Or the... Life? No, no. I was going to say <laughs> hot ones. Um, <laughs> why did you take a shot of ranch? What? Why Do you want I, a farmer? Robert. Do yes. I want a plumber or a farmer? Farm, or both? Farmer. Farmer. <laughs> no, that is, that's actually not what I'm going for. Um, even though I'm wearing corduroy right now, but I, I'm a sauce queen, one would say. I, I just, I can't be limited. Ooh. And so I've, I, I, I picked the lane, Rourke, and it's mm. ranch. Ra- I didn't list multiple condiments, but sauce ranch. Queen. I'm a sauce queen. queen. We should, should we do a sauce uh, rankings? So, okay. Okay. Can, we, can we put yeah, Sauce Gardner in the bracket? Because that is like the one uh, the Dave the Matthews, Matthews right I would approve of. Yeah, um, so years ago. As I'm dipping, you know, various items, chicken tenders, fries, burgers, ice cream, um, uh, I decided, you know what? Why not just take a little because I don't I don't really drink, never had a shot before, but I, I do take shots of ranch. I, I sip. I also did a shot of soy sauce. Do you get drunk again. from ranch? Um, not enough. No, because usually I, I feel a lot of um, just judgment. And just the lack of total disrespect that I, I can't finish a full shot sometimes because they're like, put put the ranch shot down. Like, you're embarrassing me. Yeah. Um, so I, I probably would need someone that would completely, you know, accept me so, for this. Rourke, niche I, I kind of feel like that. All right. So uh, this is interesting for sure. But I kind of feel like that maybe and I know she, it says she doesn't drink in the profile. I, I, I don't drink alcohol, but I've been known to take <laughs> a shot of ranch. Well, I think I'm, she said I'm occasional thinking, drinking. She doesn't uh, do drugs. Yeah. It's but like, I, I, not, like once every three months. Once every three months, because I'm thinking like if I'm reading this, I'm like, oh, this woman is uh, like she's drinking anything in sight. Yeah, she's out of she's out of control, like partier if she's doing (laughs) shots of ranch, even she must love shots so much. (laughs) So I like the idea that if you're going to keep this, you need to combine it with something else um, that is a little bit more informative. I will say, and this might come as a surprise, something I've learned from my like male friends who are on dating apps is that you would be shocked at the amount of women that think they have hot takes about condiments. Oh, Ah, this is in the taco range. 
that ranch, ketchup, and mustard appear on so many profiles. I'm not and he's like, Yeah. And and he's like, I am so tired of like debating condiments. <laughs> At least yeah. I didn't put is a hot dog a sandwich or yeah. soup. No. Or whatever. Totally. Like that stuff know. is like overplayed. And so mm-hmm. I do think that like I'm trying to think of like a clever way to like make th- like it's from your profile it's like it's very clear that you have like a sense of humor that you like 52 percent witty yeah yeah exactly that you're like silly that you're willing to try stuff like whatever so like i'm yeah. i'm wondering like what this like i'm trying to think of a way because i do think like talking about food or things you like is like a really easy that's such an easy way to get a conversation yeah. going i'm trying to think of a way to pivot it um but i i do think the advice is good to convey two things in one if you can if you want to keep this anyway thoughts what would be a good replacement in addition to talking about my love for ranch but add something in addition to it is that what you're saying yeah potentially like um well we also said we might want to do a voice prompt for her yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want to my do my robot right, voice. Let's, let's, yeah, let's your real let's, voice. Your real let's voice. Keep, let's keep going down, but then maybe we'll. I think we we got mm-hmm. some problems. We'll circle here. back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. One. My quarter life crisis looks like that's our c- caption. Uh, that, okay. I'll um, zoom in on the tears. Yeah. Hold our on. friend Will is having a quarter life crisis. Also, you see some mm-hmm. of the tears. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Under the eyes. Yeah. yeah. The red you, nose. That you. Yeah. Well, your nose looks especially red. Are you? Are you? Uh, sunburn or is I was. That I was. I was crying. You? Yeah, I was crying. In the, in the yeah. Photo. This is real. And you thought to take a selfie. Yeah. What do you think about a yes. sad photo? I think that the person you end up with, what, <laughs> will real. accept you when you're crying. I don't think it's the dating profile. First yeah. impression. What if it's mm-hmm. what if it says this is me when I'm out of ranch? <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> okay, now okay, now we're on to something. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let me yes, get exactly. ranch out of that other prompt. If we could by the way, if we could back up for one second, because Shannon gave this to us. What could could you give us a little bit about what you're looking for? Because Shannon's well, well you yeah. go first. Yeah, then, the big then... three are successful, hot, okay, and funny. Yeah, let's ask this question. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. But what are you looking for more specifically? I'm going to rework my lit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, beating heart. Preferably. Oh, okay. Alive. Limbs intact. Yeah. Mm, Long limbs yeah. though, right? Long, like Long that picture. Limbs, I, yeah, I do. I, I love a good 5'10 and over. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. So not to say, uh, we could talk about this work, the debating height and how that really plays in because some people really like their short kings. Um, I would prefer someone with height, but it's not. Mm-hmm. I like intelligence and I also think sense of humor, mm-hmm. wittiness. Um, yeah. Rourke, should the tall take back the kings? Like, is there anybody out there looking for tall kings? <laughs> Most people are, yeah. So I think yeah. that's why the <laughs> But I feel like that they, 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 but shouldn't, they, shouldn't the tall take back the the royal monitor of like, I'm a Rob, tall Rob, what are you king. trying to do here? We got nothing going here for us. And Everybody loves a short king, king but I kind of feel like that. Like, uh, like mm-hmm. I, I'm tall when I chop liver. Like, uh, that... say, wait, five ten is not a short king. Just to be clear, oh no, 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 I'm looking, average, that's, right? my, that's my min. That's my min. That's like that's like the she won't respond yeah. if you're if you're. I not just think I, okay. it would be refreshing to, to see like a, like like a, a guy <laughs> who's six five uh like reclaim <laughs> tall king. Yeah, what, the guy who's six five really needs more going for him. I right. agree, Rob. Mm-hmm. Um, someone yeah. who's also you know has aspirations and. Okay. Is driven you professionally. Goals. Okay, so alive so. and, and <laughs> aspirational, preferably five ten or higher. Okay. Also, I'll, I'll I'll be candid. Yeah. I have never been a relation. I know it's it's really hard to believe. Um, hmm. I tend I also tend to shorten my words too. I call them breeze abbreves. So maybe we can work that in. Mm-hmm. Is your re- is your first name actually abbreviation? No, it's Brianna, but um, okay. people used to always call me Brianna, and it made me feel like I was on Farmer yeah. Wants a Wife. Um, so, it Did just, you keep yeah. up with that? Did we quit too soon? I never watched the show. I just listened to the pod, but I really enjoyed listening to you guys. Oh, okay. Maybe it. we made a mistake. I think you did. Uh, hmm. Um. Okay. So, all right, fine. So, w- these are w- definitely reasonable grounds we could work with here. I'm also um, looking for, like, a life partner. Mm. I, I I personally don't know if I want to get married. Um, mm. I know I don't really want to have children. So mm-hmm. someone who's who would be content with not, you know, rushing to get married, settle down, have kids. Because I know for me, like that's I I don't think I would. But but on the app, we're looking for a relationship here. 
I th- yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, sorry. Did you say that you know for sure that you don't want kids? I don't. Yeah, I don't think I want kids. Then you should put that in like the little yeah. carousel of information. Put don't want because like that I think is pretty relevant I information. Babies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, I hate babies is better than don't want kids. <laughs> okay, don't put. Hate I have babies. kids and hate babies. <laughs> I actually work at a daycare currently, so yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bert, Bert, hey, there. hold on. Don't put that there. Bert, that will be on the news one day. Actually, don't let you hate Bert, babies. Birth to five. Tonight yeah. at eleven, uh, meet the woman who works in daycare <laughs> and hates babies. <laughs> She does shots of ranch in her free time tonight. I think she shouldn't, right? Well, but Rourke, that's interesting. No kids, because I mean, obviously, that's something you should bring up sooner than later. Yeah. But uh, I, I don't know if someone needs to like meet you for coffee before they know your opinion on children. Um, you know, mm-hmm. I don't wait, know. Wait, so wait, it are might you limit saying? Me. Would you say Akiva to keep? To not put on there, that she, she wouldn't mention. Kids? I think she should. Are mention you it, like, arguing with day. our uh, dating? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, no, no you're, I'm not please arguing. argue. I'm just, I'm just curious. It's Discourse. interesting. Like, you know, and also, I mean, listen. Yeah, there's a very good chance she'll feel that way. She's also 25 and works with kids now. She is like at the <laughs> peak time that she is not going to be interested in having children. But she reason. doesn't want to meet somebody who's like, "Hey, I'm looking to start a family." Like maybe she'll yeah, change her she mind. Can find she out can on change her profile three. later. Yeah, you, it's it's definitely important information to tell people right uh, earlier than later because it would be it's an you know I'm you know you hear about it all the time. It's like I don't want kids yeah. and I should. Yeah. No, fall madly in love and then Actually, I have to let them down. Yeah, but three. you can tell them on the first date. Yeah, you know. Could you could you let us know? I think this is important. That uh, is your issue that you are getting responses and they're not the responses you want mm-hmm. because that it, it seems like that uh in shannon's case that uh it's more like hey h- help me like uh like get more get more responses uh, and, and shannon tell me if i uh misrepresenting uh you know what your dilemma was uh i don't i mean i don't know what what a normal amount of responses is i get That's so fair. i get like i don't know seven a week seven a week okay that's that's nice. great that's great that's good so, all right so how you're not overwhelmed and like not reply yeah. to people like you know like you, you don't want that many people uh, yeah i i frequently i just that's like, how the unanswered cameos went can you do a lot of podcasts probably mm-hmm. um so i had looked at your profile just really briefly shannon and it said like 56 plus um is that, that's the age that... that you were looking for <laughs> shannon no wonder I don't, I don't, what are we talking about? Daddies. I, no, it, um, the, <laughs> the people that have liked you back, it said 56 plus. My issue is I, I'm not getting enough. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a pick me. I'm not a pick me girl, but I'm not, I'm not getting a lot back. And I don't know if it's because maybe my range of like proximity, we can go over like age range, but I will say I have standards. I mean, I've waited this long to like be in a relationship. I, I, I don't want to compromise like core values who I am as a person, personality, things like that. And so I, I, I am more picky and that probably mm-hmm. relates to not, I guess in this yes. case, swiping or like liking people. So it, it could in turn be why I don't get as many back. Yeah. All right. Let's let, let the record show. Brie, Brie has I'm standards, which include being alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moderately so, attractive <laughs> and, and aspirational. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to be successful. Shannon wants someone successful. Uh, Bree just wants someone who aspires to be successful. Okay, that's totally mm-hmm. fair. Everyone's yeah. at different places, but not a waiter, yeah. right? Um, I mean, yeah. So I would say, like, as, as it should be, your I would say that your profile is yeah. very. I would say it's very like you focused, mm-hmm. and I would also yeah. say it's the same. Like, for example, like I am somebody who, and I admit this, and like I know it has whatever results it has in the real world is like, I much more like my fashion sense. Like I dress for women more than men. Like I don't really, like I wear like a lot of kind of like baggier clothes or like casual clothes. Like I don't wear things that are like tight or like have cut out, Mm -hmm. like whatever. Like I don't like dress like sexy. And I understand that like I am dressing to impress women more so than men. What was that going to be a (laughs) cue? No, uh, Rob, no, Rob said me either. I oh. didn't. I, yeah. I would never have said anything there. Um, <laughs> um, and so, like, I think your profile, like, is like to me, like, I would want to hang out with this person as like a gal mm-hmm. pal. But I'm wondering what it's conveying mm. from a dating perspective. Really? And, yeah. And so I think that like, 
I do think you might want to like, it's clearly like who you are is really clear. Um, yeah. but I think that you might want to, cause it does sound like you're looking for a relationship, even though that might look a certain way to you, like not involved, like maybe that's like a long-term partner, not a marriage and like whatever that ends up looking like is obviously mm -hmm. yet to be written. But like right now this isn't conveying, like it's not like giving romantic, um, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like, it's not giving like seriousness. So I'm, I'm too funny is what you're saying. It's literally. Yes. You know she yeah, is? yeah. I mean, we've only known her Rourke. The three of us have only known her for 20 minutes, but she, mm -hmm is very silly and this and the, and the app i think like the the uh profile reflects that right 100%. she's like always joking yeah. and and um is there anything else can we is there anything else to scroll down to here brie just one last picture at a theme park okay at universal universal okay yes no Do you, you and, and you love pictures universal pictures like... what you, you say robert see... Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you you and you love universal pictures. You want to let the everybody know. <laughs> this partly was because I was working at Walt Disney World for almost two years, and I recently came back, and that was just when I first downloaded the app. And you want to stick it to the mouse by going to Universal? <laughs> Surprisingly, I will say, I've gotten the closest to a relationship, a situationship at in the Walt Disney World area, and I was. Oh. I was very shocked because mostly, not to overgeneralize, mostly gay men I worked with and interacted with. And okay, so I was you just you there. met a man in Orlando or you met a man while working at Disney? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, working at Disney. I would oh. I would get. Um, Is that frowned upon? What, what character say, do you think on? you'd most want to date? I'm thinking, Rob. Oh my God. At Disney. What, what character? Oh, uh, like, if it was someone who what dresses up, we'd want to date, like, Goofy. I mean, one of the one of the princes? I mean, I kind of feel I like, that. I don't know, you have to have, like, be very secure in your relationship. But, like, uh, I feel like there's a lot of, you know, these princesses are out there, like, talking mm -hmm. to people all day. No, it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would get hit on, basically, mm -hmm. basically by, by guests. And I, I was, I was so new to it because here, right, I'd never had male interaction before. It was so, so new to Brie, me. So, Brie, can you reveal um, what character like, you were? Or did you sign an NDA with Disney? <laughs> I, I was not a princess. I, I was not a face character. I worked in the attractions there on the rides and ah, merchandise. Okay. okay. So I was, and, I, and yeah. then the passengers on the rides would hit on you. And mostly, it was when I worked in merchandise because attractions was more. Um, safety critical, so I really couldn't talk to them. But merchandise, mm -hmm. yeah, I was. So like, you'd they, be behind they, the counter, and then the people mm -hmm. would be hitting on you. They would slip me their numbers, and I didn't know if that was against policy. I took it because this rarely happens. So I was like, and then you called one time. of these people. They, yeah, I, I actually conversed, t texted. Um, wow. mm -hmm. Did you call it dice well. when you were selling merchandise? Did you like mm -hmm. shorthand? <laughs> no, oh my, that's good. That's good. Again, keep me right there. <laughs> wow. So. You work at Diz. I usually, so I, was, picture, I would say merch, but yeah. Boy, this this picture, Rourke Universal. It looks like it would be a great picture of Brie, but she's like barely visible because it's so. It's okay, so, so dark. exactly. Just the lighting. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. It looks like it. Got almost it. Was a great picture. Um. Uh, so, <laughs> let, do we have any voice prompt ideas? Because she is like a funny person. I think we should do a yeah, voice. Yeah, agreed. Prompt for her. Let's let's scroll. Like, if you can go to the edit profile and can like we look see at the, the voice options. prompts. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at the options. All right. I would also try to find a picture like um, a lot of your pictures are sort of like kind of hip up um, mm -hmm. body size. And I do think you want a full body. Like I do think people want to know like what like what you look like. But I, I would encourage some like closer face pictures as well okay. um, that aren't crying. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Close face pictures that aren't crying. We'll write that down. This, yeah. yeah. We're losing yeah. the crying picture. Nah. All right. Okay. Oh. They have video so prompts. Depth, no, we don't strange. want that. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to scroll still? Um, yeah, the voice prompts. Video prompts do video prompts do so well. Oh. Oh. Okay. Like if you have a oh, video, should do one now on the podcast. Yeah, uh, that I could. Mark, what if she did a shot of ranch in her video prompt? <laughs> Honestly, that would work. That oh. is a better. You have ranch way. there, Bree. Do you want to go get ranch? That is a better way I to do. convey that information. I have a ranch store. Mm -hmm. okay. A ranch drawer. <laughs> it it's a okay. It's a condiment. Shouldn't it be drawer. refrigerated? It's in. It's in. Yeah, it's in the refrigerator. It's an. It's a okay. condiment 
section with just various Says, what you know, sauce Wendy's. queen mm -hmm. <laughs> can we find a tall king for this sauce queen <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so Who we're gonna do a video prompt of me um, drinking ranch should we do this could be do it on the podcast to you. or no <laughs> this ranch for you I don't know. Maybe we'll have, why don't we set it up for when when Bree comes back successfully? Uh, we'll we'll, we'll uh, yeah, we'll get a uh, yeah. When we watch Cat in the Hat. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and then yeah. So do we want to do a voice prompt? What do we want to do here, Rourke? Do we want to give her better? Prompts? What are the voice prompts? Are they just the same ones as the normal Where prompts? Are voice prompts. Right oh, there, yeah. not bolded. No. Yeah, go to select a prompt and record your answer. Okay. It's very yeah. That is a kind of intimate that you oh. have to like hold the phone up to your like uh, you... listening to. Yeah. So Actually... some of the prompts are weird. A boundary of mine is a dream home must include. Mm. I would say a you cheap mortgage, right, Shannon? That's right. But but Rora, can I tell you my all time favorite um sort? I think it was Tinder back in the day, like the, the pre hinge days. Yeah. Uh, a, a comedian podcaster I really liked, the late <laughs> Harris Harris Whittles. Um, his his uh, Tinder prompt was, uh, "I make money, I'll buy you a couch." That always made me laugh. That is funny. I like Good that. Story. Couches are fucking expensive. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, I, couches I are insanely are expensive. Right yeah, and kids <laughs> ruin them, Bree. Yeah, no, it's not worth if you have children. Yeah, that I would say you have to pick ultimately between children and a nice couch. That is definitely true. Mm -hmm. Um, the biggest risk I've taken. Drinking. How about uh, <laughs> so? I think these are my, like, I really enjoyed um, guys who had very easy names because one mm -hmm. of them is um, how to pronounce my name. And the guy yeah. would just be like, John. That's funny. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed that. And it's, it's a played out joke. They are not yeah. like, not the first man to do that was not that man. And yet I enjoyed it. Um, I also don't hate the soundtrack one and giving somebody a piece of music to listen to as they scroll your profile. Cause the voice mm. prompt keeps playing, even if you scroll away from it. Mm. Mm. Um, and so that's like a four be... minute song, Rourke. You're saying they'll stay on her profile for the whole four minutes. If they no, 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 no. She would have to hold her phone up to her laptop or something and, you know, record. The yeah. Clip. But, uh, but if they were listening, I'm saying they, they couldn't leave if they wanted to keep hearing the song, they would be correct. So she should actually, profile. she should play a fish song. You're trapping. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, how long are the goose songs, Akiva? <laughs> They're long. The goose could have 17, 18 minute songs. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Um, but no, so that could be a way for you to get, you know, a Harry Styles or Taylor Swift in there mm -hmm. as yeah. an extra piece. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Do you think a voice and a video, that's overkill, right? Pick a lane, pick a shrug. I, I don't know. I've heard that they get great engagement, like li oh. like responses to. Yeah. Um, not like a, not a ring. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I, I feel like that, you know, Brie really has, you know, a, a very fun personality like i feel like that that's probably a great way for her to showcase that where there's like mm -hmm. less room for misinterpretation if uh um, if she's doing all text so i feel like that that's a great yeah. idea for her yeah i like that a lot i think so too thank you okay i know we're so giving major... her yeah go ahead i said major takeaways of probably being more serious and conveying just, a more just, romantic just yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't don't swing to don't swing the pendulum the other way, right? Um, I, I can't. Exa yeah, I was gonna say I don't know that that's possible. Um, so yeah, I yeah yeah, yeah. I, I would say that those are sort of like the, and also I would say yeah. pick something to give somebody an opportunity to talk about themselves. Like people love to talk about themselves. And can we do my MJ? Do you like sport? People like Same. sports, Bree. I like I like baseball. The Cubs. Okay, there you we like go. Cubs. We're back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> No, because I want to try my – I want someone to try my MJ LeBron one. But we could do the Cubs, like, uh, uh, you know, a looking for someone to take me to a baseball game even, like something like that, right? Ooh. It's like a first date suggestion. The fellas – That is a good one. I and bet I could be more that dodgy. Could be voice than you. One last thing. Of yeah. You could do the choose the, our first date. The baseball date. thing? Yeah, do the choose our first date mm -hmm. and say, like, we're coming up on, like, like buy me a Dodger dog and take me – like mm -hmm. take me to a game a like that dog. that's amazing Dodgers. yeah <laughs> <laughs> um one last thing Rourke sorry no it's fine so I've been having issues when conversing with these applicants these potential mates um online and 
some sometimes it feels like an interview where I mm. ask a question. It's very one sided. For example, I would ask, you know, what what's your favorite baseball team? The Mets. Okay. And then it's not a and you. Or I'd say, Oh, yeah. awesome. Mine's the Cubs. And it wouldn't say, Oh, is it because you're from Chicago? That's cool. Where why why do you like why do you follow them? It's just so one sided. Are and you from Chicago? I was gonna ask I that am. question. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I'm from Chicago. Yeah. Originally. If they're not asking that, then maybe they're not interested. Why why are they now doing they that? they just work? don't know. Well, maybe the, uh, that in fairness, maybe the Mets are so exciting that they just feel like that this like end of statement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was a fake example, but um, richest owner in sports. But no, I I know this well. This is like such yeah. a problem. Um, I are think men that just like bad communicators online or just in general. It, Hold on both, both all the above. Um, <laughs> I, I do think it's a. I think it's a laziness thing. I think it could be sort of like. I think a lot of men universally swipe right and kind of like see who they get and mm -hmm. then like decide kind of after the fact of matching if mm -hmm. they want to keep talking and so i think that like i have like when i was on dating apps i was not afraid to say like would you would you like to ask me a question oh and just okay. like throw it at them because that like take that who care like who cares you do not know this man mm -hmm. in the, you know the the stakes are so low it just like really doesn't matter and i think that Nothing it sounds does. like you're giving energy and as long as like you are continually giving energy <laughs> it's fine sorry what did you say i said nothing. nothing does when you said the stakes don't matter oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah back to the whole mechanisms okay that that makes sense. Good to know because I wasn't just sure if it was just okay. It's a miscommunication barrier online. They're not sure how to communicate via text. But people text in their real life. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. or I, I'm not here. Gentlemen. That's why, like, I don't like making these excuses, right? Where like yeah. I, you know, my friend is like dating somewhere where, she, where she's like, he's a bad texter, and I'm like, okay, well, that's then he doesn't get to date you. Like there there, there is no such thing as a bad texter. You're, you're making a choice not to communicate. He has a phone, yeah. yeah, you have a phone. He doesn't have a. He's not a surgeon where he's putting his phone in a locker for or a hours. podcaster <laughs> waiter. Yeah, yeah. Like you have access to your phone every few hours. If somebody asks yeah. you a direct question, you can bleeping yeah. reply. Mm -hmm. So Done. it's just showing up. Yeah, that's the bare minimum. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. The, okay. There's a famous uh, there's a famous tweet from what's his name Tyler who says uh, he's not bad at texting he's bad at texting you but it's really exactly. it's reverse it's usually she's not bad at texting she's... I'm gonna get Who's that Tyler tattooed? Tyler he's Tyler like, Perry uh, no uh, Tyler I am I think Tyler he, the creator he's just yeah. a popular guy on Twitter just a cool guy from Twitter also just a heads up I have to join a deposition shortly okay yeah, all right yeah, well I think we're, we're I I, yeah. I think Bree you have enough to work with. I think so. Okay. Sure. I think, yeah, and we want one hot take maybe for Brie we, uh, that's not the cat in the hat also. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Gotta... Uh, Brie, any last questions for Rourke? I think that that's all. I mean, am I too picky? Is that what the issue is? Should I should I be more open I to my pool? Should I extend my range? That's waiter, actually a fair Rourke. question. I, feel free to date a waiter. plus, like... I would, yes, <laughs> it completely change your age range to 56 plus. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I would encourage you to expand your height filter a little bit. Um, oh, yeah. sure. um, maybe like drop it to like 5'8", because you're 5'4". Yeah, I, I don't even think you can adjust it. It's a it's an extra add-on to pay for. Oh, so that's right. Even, okay. Then yeah. just emotionally be more yes, open to 5'8", okay. man. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Check myself. As, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Got it. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, All right, so we 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 would love to have Bree and Shannon back on next weekend, or maybe the weekend after that. After they've had a little time with their adjusted profiles, they can send them to us. We could even yeah, we'll do a mailbag. Okay, and yeah, we'll we'll put it on the mailbag, and we'll have the two of you, and we'll see if you know Rourke has worked her magic. And um, uh, I know she did today. I thought this was a delight, Rob. I think this yes, was, oh, this, this was, was so much fun. fun, Rourke. Thank yeah. you so much for uh, being a part of this and taking some time out of your schedule to My pleasure. you, you so know uh, have have some fun and help out Bree. And Shannon, uh, Rourke, is there anything you want to tell people to check out? Honestly, no. I've like become a very private <laughs> individual. She's not on social media. 
Um, I do have, I, I, I actually still have my, I have a public Instagram account called Rourke's underscore kitchen that I used associated with my former dating podcast. The dating podcast still exists. Like the, the girl I was doing it with found a new co-host. I just had to leave cause I work too much. Mm-hmm. So if you guys want to listen to her, it's finding Mr. Height. She's great. Her co-host is Erica. She's a stand-up comedian. She's amazing. So listen to her and find me on Rourke's kitchen. If you would like, I like post Instagram stories sometimes. Rourke's kitchen. Yeah, Rourke's underscore kitchen. Are you post like uh I post recipes? a lot of food pics. Okay. A lot of food That's pics. Fun. That's fine. Not Rourke's forks. No, but uh, I like that. Shit. That is Maybe I should yeah. good. I'm sure I don't think it's taken, pack. so go wow. ahead. Wow. Okay. okay. Right. How do you all right. know all right. it's all right. not? All right. All right, <laughs> Brie, we're gonna get you in the marketing department <laughs> around here. Okay. All right. You need a real um, job, yeah. All right. So uh <laughs> all right. Um, so Akiva, for, for us mm-hmm. next, we're going to switch to, uh, we're, do a quick mailbag. Uh, we're going to do a mailbag. Yeah. Okay. Rourke, I know, I, I know, uh, you have to run Brie and Shannon, you're welcome to stick around for the mailbag. If you have Please. anything you want to, you want to help us, uh, submit or, uh, react to some of the mailbag ideas. Um, I'm pleasure. Saying. Okay. Good to Rourke, see you guys. Thank you so bye, much. Thank so you so nice much. Really appreciate it, Rourke. You're welcome. Yeah. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay. Uh, for for Bree or Shannon, uh, so you you uh, you want to stay for the mailbag? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we're, I think it, don't think it's going to be a super long one here today. So uh, we're gonna uh, I I think this did work out well with the video. So uh, I think I think end, we should post the video. Yeah, I'm gonna end the, I'm gonna end the video portion of uh, this now. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, come right back with our uh, episode two hundred eighteen. Mailbag coming up right after this. 